Hi everyone, Amory Batson here. I'm just at home. I'm just getting ready to go out because I'll be watching West Ham women take on Liverpool Women FC later on this afternoon. It's the three o'clock kickoff, but I thought I'd just do a quick video just to give you the overview of the WSL this weekend, but also a little bit of tennis news as well. Current champions Chelsea women will be taking on Birmingham City later. It will be it's an early kickoff this afternoon, so it's a 12.30 kickoff. And Chelsea, of course, will be hoping to bounce back after that comprehensive defeat against Arsenal last weekend. Speaking of Arsenal, the league leaders, the current league leaders at the top of the table will be taking on Reading, fourth place Reading, who uh, will try and disrupt Arsenal's unbeaten run. Arsenal have just been playing fantastically over the last few weeks, but no doubt Reading will want to have a say about that. But also the big news this week with Arsenal women is that their manager, Joe Montemura, has signed a new deal. So a year in, his plans are starting together, the tactics are starting together, and he has signed a new deal. He has declined to say how long that new deal is, but there is a new deal in place, and that was announced this week. Yeovil Town will be meeting Bristol City later on this afternoon, and of course, Yeovil Town are sitting at the bottom of the table. They'll be desperate to get a win, are desperate to get points on the board. They came so close when they played Liverpool Women FC, but yet have yet to get points on the board, so they'll be looking to try and do that this afternoon. And uh, what can I say about the early kickoff? Well, Birmingham City are a team that are absolutely fearless. I watched them this year for the first time and I was absolutely amazed about the setup, the team itself, the pace. They're, they're not afraid of taking, they're not afraid to take their chances and they want to dominate the game. So I think Chelsea might be in for a slightly rough ride. It's not as easy as it looks when you play against Birmingham, that is for sure. They've had four wins out of five, whereas Chelsea have drawn a lot of their games. They've won two out of five, but the reigning champions are still in the Champions League and they beat Fiorentina quite comprehensively this week. So swings and roundabouts for Chelsea, whereas Birmingham City are on a flyer at the moment and they're currently sitting second in the table. Arsenal must be feeling very confident right now. They're sitting at the top of the table and as I mentioned Earlier, they've also on an unbeaten run, and there was the big stat this week that Vivian Miedemar is one of the top joint scorers for the league, and she is pretty much their playmaker for the team. But the news this week was slightly tinged with sadness because it was confirmed that Kim Little, the Scottish midfielder, has a broken leg, a fractured fibula after a tackle from Drew Spence in the Chelsea game, which resulted in Drew Spence getting a yellow card. And there was a lot of debate on social media if it should have been a red and also about the refereeing decisions as well. But if we just put that to the side for a second, let's send all our best wishes to Kim Little as she recovers from a broken leg. She'll be out for about 10 weeks or so. Let's not forget about Man City. I feel there's been so much talk about Chelsea and Arsenal that there hasn't been much light shone on Man City. So Man City women, although they're out of the, the Champions League, they are only one point behind Arsenal and Birmingham City. So they're sitting in, in third place. They are the second highest scorers in the league at the moment. And it's pretty much down to how they play. And I say this every time, the key player for them is Nikita Paris. She's scoring goals, not just for club, but for country as well. And she is very, very clinical. And she shares that accolade of being a top goal scorer with Vivian Miedemar as well. So I'm really looking forward to when Arsenal play Man City and vice versa. I will be looking forward to that game, seeing Vivian Miedemar and Nikita Paris. Who's going to get the most goals out of those two? Who is to say? So early kickoffs this afternoon for Chelsea and Birmingham. Everybody else is around about the two o'clock mark or the three o'clock mark. And I will do a quick, probably a live Instagram video later about West Ham women versus Liverpool women. And the other sporting news I have to give you, because, you know, I'm a massive tennis fan as well, is about Britain's number one, Carl Edmund, who is playing in a ATP final this weekend. So today he'll be battling it out for the European Open title in Antwerp. His opposition, if you like, the opposite player is Gail Monfils. Edmund is seeded first for this particular tournament and Gail Monfils, I believe, is seeded 28th for this tournament. So Carl Edmund 
is on course to seek his first or what we call maiden ATP title, which would be absolutely amazing for him. He takes on the Frenchman Gail Monfils later this afternoon, so best of luck to him and I hope he does it. As ever, if you enjoy my videos or enjoy the discussions I've had from past videos, please don't forget to hit the like button underneath or even better, subscribe. So my question of the day is actually around about tennis. How many sets will it take for Carl Edmund to win his first maiden title? Will he be done in two sets or will it go to three? Fingers crossed, I'm hoping he gets it done to two, but Gail Monfils is an unpredictable and entertaining player. So it's probably going to go the distance. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Enjoy your rest of your day and I'll see you soon.